There are a lot of different methods to um, how to get an air swim consistently. Um, I found numerous methods that have worked over the years. Um, only problem is they eventually, I find they eventually stop working and I have to find a new method. So I can kind of show a couple methods I use, I've used. Um, the very first one is um, to just look off here, hold forward and be mashing the Z button, uh, I guess as fast as you can. Sometimes it'll take forever to actually drop off. But, now basically what happened there was that was really, um, I guess, lucky, I guess. There's a bit of luck in this. That the second you press that Z button, you know, it has to matter that you press that last input correctly. So, that's one way to do it. Um, another way is, this is a dumb way to do it, um, is to go off backwards like this. You can see if you just slightly tilt the control stick down, he just keeps popping back up. You have to be holding L down, by the way. And once you're doing that, you can kind of you can tilt the control stick a little bit more. You have to con you have to tilt it um, enough. Uh, for some reason, that's working, but normally that won't work that easily. So that's an, that's one way to do it. It's another way to do it. Um, some other methods I found is what I used to do for a long time is I actually used to um I would stand around this area also I should probably explain the positioning um for Cape Claw early you don't want to be in the center you would want to be um I use I always use the left side I don't know if the right side's any good but I think the left side's more comfortable for me like anywhere right here right here is good <clears throat> so and then what I used to do is I would actually like use the thorn tail right here I would put the zoom goggles right at the thorn tail and I would go off at an angle uh, it didn't work that time um, that used to work very well for me but clearly it doesn't so much anymore. <clears throat> um, currently what I do is I just do that first method. I find that to be like the best. When it works. Um, also sometimes what I used to do is I would like hold the control stick slightly, not all the way, but I I always hold it all the way forward now because I need it to be as quick as possible. So I need to be going at the fastest momentum possible. So I hold forward all the way. Some people might not do that. It really depends. You have to just tamper with it and see what works best for you at the moment until it stops working, that is. So that's really all you can do with air swim. That's all you have control over. Now, once you actually get one, I want to head over here. And you can actually get up on this and cancel the air swim. Now, this tree isn't, diff isn't too difficult. Just make sure you're L targeting so you can actually see where you're going. This one, some people will actually L target again. Um, I actually always Z target and I just kind of look at the thing so I can actually assure that I get a correct position. But it's not strict at all, really. You just have to have this angle. Um, then basically, you don't want to be holding like right completely. Um, you want to be like more upright, I suppose. Um, and then you switch to up, so upright and then up. It's not too difficult. 
So here, this is where I think I see most people having the most problems, is this drop right here. I don't know why, but... So here's what I do. Fox's right foot, the very tip of his right foot, you want to have just hidden that black. You see this black spot right here? Uh, it actually... Zoom on it. So this right here. Fox's foot, like, you can't have it directly on it. That's too far. You want to have the tip of it just touching it. So once that's done, you take the zoom, you z-target, take the zoom goggles, and I think from just watching, like, if you watch my streams at all, you can kind of tell what I'm doing here. I'm lining up the right side of the cursor box with this, uh, the corner of the wall right here. Now, when I'm dropping off, just like air swim, I'm holding forward all the way. I'm not holding it slightly, I'm holding it all the way. And this is, you have to expect to drop sooner than you would get an air swim. It's, you're always going to be quicker with this. This isn't an air swim where it takes forever. Um, so you just smash Z. Whoops. The second you see his arms flail, you just want to stop doing anything. Just let go of the controller. Um, and you should land on this rock. If you're lucky, well, somewhat lucky, sometimes, in some cases, you'll actually go past the rock. And if you're really lucky, you'll actually drop on the seam below, which is the optimal method. But generally, you want this to happen. So... Now once this happens, you'll notice you can't actually Z-target. Uh, I guess it has something to do with the collision with the wall. You can't L-target either. Um, you can't use the shield, you're kind of stuck here, but you can move still. Um, this is where something, I don't have an actual setup or method for how this next drop works. You just have to know that if you don't hold forward enough, you will not be able to get through and you will clip inbounds. You will fall inbounds. So you have to have enough uh, momentum dropping off, but not too much. <laughs> you'll, um, you'll fly off and fall. So... That's really not... Um, that's I don't have a good actual setup for it. It's just a feel. So once you drop down, um, I always turn the Z target and look this way. I'll L target. Now, when I get to this next corner, there's, you're going to clip onto another seam. So, you'll see him do that. So now I'm on the other seam. I'm on the seam that's going forward. Once that happens, let go of L. Uh, just tap the control stick right so he turns like that. Z target. Use uh, zoom goggles and line up with these two pillars right here, like I do. And you should have the correct angle. Just, uh, you should have a correct angle. And let go of Z, hold L, and just walk this way. And you want, okay, so now, this is probably this next, uh, forward seam, walking forward here. This one is strict. If you're too far to the right, you will fall. So you want to make sure, so Fox's right ear, you don't want it showing, hello, tricky. You don't want it showing. You want it just, just hidden like that. His right ear is hidden. Now, once this, um, this should have everything lined up correctly, so where you can just walk through. Sometimes he will flail like that. That's okay. And just make your way over here. Now, this part isn't this uh, seam. Well, there's no seam you clip on, but there's nothing strict on this side. Here is also another chalkable part. Um, for a long time, it was the most difficult part for me, actually. Um, so you'll notice there's actually a hill. This corner has like a little bump on it that you're going to actually go up and then down again. And you basically, you will, you're going to go up it and then it's going to force you, basically. It's going to force you back in bounds. And the way to stop it is to press Z. So you can stop yourself as you're going back down the uh, the bump. 
So you want to definitely, obviously, not be running at it, or you're just gonna, you're not gonna be able to stop yourself. You have to go very slowly, actually. So he's gonna go up. Once he stops, once he starts flailing, you want to press Z. Now it's possible. I think what happened here is you can press Z too early. That is okay. You just have to be very careful. You want to unhook Z again. Now he'll just be doing that. So if he's not far enough, you can actually tap forward, not all the way, but slightly, and try it again. It's very precise. It's just very. Uh, you have to be really quick with it. But um, yeah, this part is chokeable as fuck. But um, but this should be good enough. So now basically, you want to just um, you don't want to just head forward. You don't want to just go forward at this point. You want to actually kind of get back to the right, and then go forward. So just hold right for just the amount of time, and then just go forward. You shouldn't fall. This part looks difficult, it's not though. You're not gonna fall through this. Now, you're you gonna feel yourself hit this wall once that happens. Um, hold Z. Or let go of L and hold Z. And again, we're gonna line, we're gonna use these two pillars. Alright, I think these are different pillars. But these two, we're gonna line up right here. You don't actually have to be holding uh, forward so that you're looking down like this. You can actually. But it just helps with um, having the input ready, basically. Yes, it is slower, but it helps with the input, so you don't most likely choke it. Now, if you know how the seam walk in Dark Ice Mines works, this is kind of similar, where once you drop, you need to hold back and then forward again. Kind of in the same rhythm as the seam walk drop. It's pretty similar. Um, this is not something I find myself choking ever. I don't think I've ever choked it in like two years or something. I can't even remember. When I was still learning the game, I probably failed it a few times. But it's actually not too bad. So I'm gonna hold forward to get an input ready. I'm gonna let go of Z. I'm gonna, and I'm still holding forward as I let go of Z. You walk off. Once you drop hold back, and then forward again. You're going to want to make your way to this. Now, my last tutorial of video, there is actually a new method for these loading triggers. What we're going to be doing this time, I think this way is easier, I want to say it is, because you don't have the, you don't, it doesn't cause the risk of clipping back in balance because you're kind of the old method you had to kind of like seam around you had to seam around here and then hit a loading zone loading trigger but we're going to be skipping that loading trigger it is still possible to actually hit it with this method and that in theory is the fastest way to do it but it really doesn't matter we're going to do it the safest way and it's the second quickest way I do believe so I think it's a good deal but you want to basically just make your way. Now I can't. I'm not certain exactly the path I have to be taken, but kind of try to be as close to the right as possible without actually clipping back in. So here's where it's important. As you get over here, you want to see a lag spike. So there was a lag spike right there. I don't know if you caught that. If you don't see a lag spike as you're going over here. You're gonna want to go. You have to go back and try to trigger it again, like back to where you actually rose up in the water. But if you do see a lag spike, you should be good. Now, what you want to do is actually get frozen here, and then press Z. If you don't see the lag spike previously and you get frozen here, this won't work, and then you're, you soft lock, and you will have to start over. But if you do this correctly, that's how it works. Also, these boxes, um, I'm on 1.1 version, which is 12 seconds faster um, throughout the entire game, so those boxes are gray. If you have 1.0, you're going to have colored boxes. So.
No, just don't go too far to the left or you might soft lock. Just like don't go outside the map. Stay under it. Don't go too far to the left. You're gonna soft lock. And once the well loads right here, you can just go through. L target as soon as you kinda get to this and so you can just quickly back up and drop off. Now quite a while ago I would actually go all the way through this path. You don't actually have to do that. What you want to do so you see this corner of the wall right here I believe this is where the trigger is. Um, you want to go past this corner so or actually I'd go past this one right here so that corner right here that's all you should need to go and then you can just go back. What we need to do is we actually Cape Claw isn't entirely loaded because we did not hit a trigger yet and that trigger is down in this well right here and it actually is right after this pole I believe so basically just right here so you just walk through that and then go back and that should trigger it that should load Cape Claw now we just go back up and Cape Claw should be loaded So there you go. If you see these rocks, that means it loaded. So that's Cape Claw early. Um, this trick has to be done twice in any percent. And it saves... I want to say it saved uh, around 30 minutes. Maybe 40, I don't know. 30, 40 minutes, I have no idea. Um, exactly. At least 30 minutes, I think. So it's definitely worth doing. So yeah, I hope this was helpful because I know this is uh, something a lot of people struggle with, so thanks for watching.